In this video, we're being asked to find the center of mass of the following system of point masses. So this is the two-dimensional case. In this case, it's also called the center of gravity. So the center of mass is this ordered pair here, where the first component, so the x-coordinate, is equal to the moment about the y-axis divided by the total mass, uh, which is equal to this. And the y-coordinate is the moment about the x-axis divided by the total mass, which is equal to this. Let's go ahead and work it out. It's actually really easy. All you do is plug the numbers into the formula. So the x coordinate, it's going to be m1 times x1. So it's going to be 3 times 2 plus, and then you do 4 times negative 3, and then plus, then you do 6 times 4. Right, these guys are our x's. This is x1, this is x2, and this is x3. And then we divide by the total mass of the system, so we just add up the masses. So 3 plus 4 plus 6. So this is equal to 6 minus 12 plus 24. Divided by, and let's see, 3 plus 4 is uh, 7, plus 6 is 13. Let's see, here we get a negative 6, so we get negative 6 plus 24, it's all being divided by 13, so we end up with 18 over 13. So that's the x-coordinate of the center of mass or the center of gravity, so 18 over 13. Now we'll find the y-coordinate, and it's the same thing except it's the moment about the x-axis divided by the total mass. So this time you just take all of the y coordinates of your point masses and you multiply them by their corresponding masses. So in this case it'll be 3 times 1, so 3 times 1 plus and then 4 times 2 and then plus and then 6 times 5. And it's all being divided by the sum of the masses, so 3 plus 4 plus 6. This is equal to, let's see, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8, and 6 times 5 is 30. It's all being divided by 13 again. So here we have 11 plus 30, so we get 41 over 15. So the y-coordinate of the center of mass is 41 over 15. So the final answer, center of mass, is 18 divided by 13 and then 41 whoops whoops that's a 3 <laughs> 41 divided by 13 easy to mess up with all of these uh, numbers that's that's a 13 13 um, it's pretty easy to memorize the formulas because when you have the x coordinate you just take all of the masses and multiply them by their corresponding x coordinates and then when you want the y-coordinate, you just take all of the masses and multiply them by their corresponding y-coordinates. You'll notice for the x-coordinate, we have little x's here. And for the y-coordinate, we have little y's here. So I hope that helps.